For me, I start off my day by eating a, a great breakfast, usually eggs, bacon, maybe a waffle. And from there, I go to my room. I usually meditate, listen to music, and just try to play the game through my head before I even get out on the field. It's important because you always want to picture yourself in good positions. Just keep playing through the game, you know, so you prepare it for anything that may come your way. As the game comes closer and closer, the more I prepare, look over my plays, make sure that I know all my assignments before I get to the stadium. And when I get to the stadium, I dress out and I usually go over situations I may have in the game with one of my coaches just to prepare myself for the game coming forward. And by the time kickoff starts, I'm all the way turned up. What gets me most amped up is usually just having my family at the games. They're usually my motivation. Just having them there gives me that extra push to go out and play hard for my team. I pretty much go with the flow every week. Every week is different for me, but the goal every week is to win. So whatever I have to do to get that done. Some of the drills I do is my pass rush tree, kind of like a receiver running a, a route tree. It's like a pass rush tree. I work through every move that I could possibly be doing in the game. I usually do that with my position coach, work on uh, run blocks with them too. Just a lot of little small things that I prepare myself for. He's hit, he is sacked, Leonard Floyd. To be successful on game day for a guy in my position is getting out the quarterback, man. Just, just uh, wrecking the game. Just finding a way to make it uncomfortable for the other team's opposing quarterback and their entire offense. Game day means everything. That's, that's my day to get sacks, you know? And, and when you get a sack, it's just one of the best feelings in the world. Jones hit, ball comes loose. On the first snap of the game, it's a strip sack for Leonard Floyd. 